Whoop. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance? We are nice and early at the airport, and uh, we're just about to go to Sydney. And it's really early in the morning, so my comp is in about two days. And yesterday, I've had the worst gastro, and it was bad. I was supposed to work out, I couldn't work out. Luckily, I had a decent sleep, and I went. Um, I've got some meds and I'm feeling a lot better right now. So, hoping to get two workouts in today. We're gonna land in Sydney. We're going to um, hire a car. And once we are in Sydney, we will plan our next move and hopefully get some really, really awesome footage. We are in sunny Sydney. It's actually gorgeous weather, way better than Melbourne at the moment, but um, we're just gonna quickly go grab a rental car, which I've already booked, and then we're gonna go with a little bit of tour of Sydney. So let's get it started. It's sunny, it's fresh air, it's actually perfect temperature, way better than Melbourne. Like, it was really, really good weather. All right, let's do this. Instead of going around Uber, I decided to book a car. Do you reckon good idea? This is the best idea. Yeah. Best idea. That's it. This rental car is an hour. Our company is a bit cheaper as well. So yeah, that's it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? a good deal, yeah. Instead of spending money on Uber. Exactly. I'm going to be here for two days, so it's better if I get some sort of transportation done rather than relying on trains and Uber. So we've got the car, it's pretty good weather out there and I don't check into my Airbnb until 3 p.m. So I have about one, two, three, four, five hours, five hours to kill. So the idea is to grab breakfast, to see a little bit of Sydney, see a little bit of Sydney City. I actually Googled vegan cafe in Sydney the closest one that I can see is Gathered Kitchen, which is about 5k away and matches a 20 minute drive. Let's go breakfast hunting. That was a pretty, pretty awesome place. Really, really good stuff. Uh, the coffee was um, okay. Not as good as Melbourne. Um, so far, but we will try another coffee place tomorrow. All right, so we have packed everything pretty efficiently, I must say, and we are just about to have a quick tour of um, Sydney Harbour Bridge. And I think I'm, I did a pretty good job um, getting a car because it's so much easier. We can park anywhere. Obviously, parking is a bit of a cost, but. I've got everything in my bag right now and I can go for two hours stroll and come back and it will be fine. So look at this gimbal, we got another gimbal, this camera and um, let's have a look at the beautiful awesome Sydney. This is probably the best and fun part about shooting Sydney so look at this view. So we've got Harbour Bridge, we've got Sydney Opera House, we've got Luna Park up there, and then we have this massive cruise line, Border Patrol. So 
So now that we've found really, really cool spots to do yeah, a bit exactly. of vlogging and get some footage now, the interesting part would be to see where can we actually park the car so we can get really awesome drone shots. That. And Harbour Bridge, which is on the other side. So I've got to find my way. there over there that is where there are these houses and there's looks like that is the part where no one comes around so we will go and find out a place where we can actually get a drone shot so now I have about 20 minutes to get around to that place and try to get some time lapse. So I've been to Sydney before last um, couple of times and both of these times were for a competition. Funny enough, I'm here for the third different kind of competition and every time I was here, I was here for like just one day or two days and then went back in but this time i took a little bit extra time i'm here early i've got my comp on um, saturday and um, i haven't been really feeling super well with um, the health but i am ready we're gonna go to our check-in at airbnb and then we're gonna go to a quick workout um, because I'm in just a bit, I'm pretty ready to make sure my workouts are on point and I missed one yesterday so we're gonna get that done soon. Let's check our Airbnb accounts now. This is what we are having. And some Big Bang Theory. We're gonna call that a night. Today is day two in Sydney and I shot a couple of shots in the city yesterday. We've had um, a couple of workouts between now and then and I am just about to go meet my videographer and also get my tanning done for tonight. So it's going pretty quick. I am feeling like I am prepared. Um, however, you can never be prepared. I mean, as much as I would like to think I am prepared, there is always something more that I want to have, that, that I want to get done and um, leave no stone unturned and like literally conquer everything that I can do in my power to get to the best shape tomorrow. So we are just about to head out and I actually had to buy food scale. I had to buy a food scale because I totally forgot the food scale from Melbourne. All right, cool, let's go. All right, we are nice and tanned. It's probably better lighting that way and that way. So we have gotten our tan, the top coat done. We are gonna get another tanning done tomorrow morning. Now, because of the flu that I had, I couldn't eat properly for the last two days, which means my protein was pretty low. So I had a, still a solid workout. The digestive, seems, digestive system seems to respond better. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to eat minimal. We are looking very lean. The size, I am, I am happy with the size. Last year, I was very skinny. I felt like I was a bit flat last year. So this year, I think I am gonna get a good size and the shred that I could get personally. So I'm pretty happy with that. And right now, we're gonna have some food. Tomorrow morning, we're having food with high fat and then carbs throughout the comp. So I've got to literally pack at the moment because I am going to be leaving this house at like 8 a.m. And which means I've got to get up at like 6 a.m. to get the prep done and do my meditation session before the comp. And uh, guys, I've, I've done everything, everything in my power. Even coming out of um, a bit of sickness and everything like that, I haven't missed any workouts. I haven't uh, missed any meals. So I've given it my full 100% 
and I planned things better um, and I, I was a bit a bit scared honestly because I just fell sick three days before comp and that is obviously not very ideal when you're prepping uh, but maybe there was a great reason why that happened and uh, we will still try our best now we will still try our best for tomorrow all I've got to focus now is on eating, get some nutrients in and posing. We're going to pose, 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 pose until we are consciously and unconsciously competent. So that's the plan for now and I will see you guys after a posing session and I've also got pizza for tonight but not whole pizza. I'm going to have a little bit so that I have some energy and as I haven't eaten much during the day but I got the scales, so I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, let's get this done and then I will see you very shortly. Trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now Think you got a chance, but I don't see how Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown My life been good and bad and all around The more things I lost, the more I found One thing I taught myself to do No matter the problem, refuse to lose So, how you want it, man? You can choose If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse See, I walk in slow and ignite the room Like fire, everything I touch, I consume I'm getting up while y'all just snooze While you make breakfast, man, I'm on the move I'm the first one in and the last one out Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out ah. In me I trust Yeah I smell like success This Elon Musk huh? Everybody wanna be like us We don't stop Cause the top just ain't enough huh? I ain't never gay no fucks I ain't scamming You know black men don't blush huh? Came here ready to fight On this night You better just run for your life Did it guys got um, three medals so got fifth in one category fourth in one and gold in one um, it's been a long freaking journey um, for this comp and um, I've done everything that I can since last year and the main winner is people who not just supported me but believing in veganism and that can be done competing all the way with these guys who um, have been you know doing really really well but not many vegans um, that I have seen today so it's a huge win for people who believe in the movement of plant-based diet and plant-based bodybuilding and it can be done and I'm just really really happy to get a really really decent a really really good result for today so this pretty much sums up the um, Sydney uh, comp time we're gonna go back to Melbourne and do another comp tomorrow and give our best in Melbourne as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Run for your life.